Hello guys, and welcome to Bike Geek. In today's video, I am going to fix and troubleshoot that says your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. There are several possible reasons behind this type of blue screen error. In this video, you'll learn the causes and step-by-step -step solutions to fix the inaccessible boot device error in Windows 11 or 10 system. One common cause is corrupted system files. If some of your Windows files are damaged, the system may fail to boot properly. Second issue can be a faulty installation of the latest Windows update. Third, outdated misconfigured or incompatible drivers. A fourth potential cause could be a loose connection. If your hard drive or SSD isn't connected properly, your PC may not detect the boot device correctly. In that case, you'll need to check the drive physically, remove it carefully, clean the connector with a soft tissue, and then reinsert it securely. Finally, a malware infection that may have damaged system files or drivers. No matter what the cause is, we will walk you through each possible fix step by step so you can get your PC back up and running again. Let's get started. If you're able to access the advanced options screen, that's great. But if not, you'll need to forcefully shut down your system two to three times to trigger the recovery environment. Repeat this process two to three times until you see the automatic repair screen or a message like startup repair couldn't repair your PC. Once you're on that screen, click on advanced options, then select troubleshoot. If you still can't access this screen after following the previous method, you'll need to create a bootable USB drive using the Windows installation media. Boot your system using the USB and from there, select repair your computer. Then go to advanced options and open command prompt. In the command prompt window, type the command SFC forward slash scan now and press enter. This command will scan your system files and attempt to repair any corrupt or missing Windows system files. SFC command is completed. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. The next step is to fix the boot-related issues preventing Windows from starting. To do this, we'll need to run a series of commands in the command prompt. First, make sure you're in the boot directory. Then, type this command and press Enter. If you receive an Access is Denied error, don't worry. Simply proceed with the next command. Once that's done, go ahead and run the boot REC command again. This time, it should complete successfully. Next, type this command to fix the master boot record. After that, run this command to rebuild the boot configuration data. Once all these commands are executed successfully, close the command prompt. Now, restart your PC and check if the issue is resolved. If the error is still not solved, then boot into advanced options again, open command prompt. And this time, we will check for bad sectors on our drive. First, we need to identify the correct drive where Windows is installed. Type C, then colon, and press Enter. If your window is installed on different drive like D, then type the correct drive, then use the DIR command to list the directories. Then run this command to scan and fix bad sectors. Make sure to replace C with the actual drive letter where Windows is installed on your system, then press Enter. Now we need to force a dismount on this volume. When prompted, press Y to confirm and proceed. This process may take some time as it goes through five stages of disk checking. Allow it to complete fully. Once done, restart your PC and check if the problem is fixed. However, if the problem still isn't fixed, we can try another solution, System Restore. Head over to Troubleshoot, then choose Advanced Options, and here you can select System Restore. If you've previously created a restore point, or if Windows created one automatically, you'll be able to restore your system to an earlier date when everything was working fine. In my case, you can see that a restore is available. If you also see a restore listed on your screen, go ahead and select it. Then click Next, review and confirm your restore point, and click Finish to begin the process. A prompt will appear stating that once started, the system restore cannot be interrupted. When asked if you want to continue, select Yes. This process will revert your system registry and configuration settings to a previous state, all without affecting your personal files or installed applications. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this video helped you fix the inaccessible boot device error 
on your Windows 11 or 10 system. If it worked for you, don't forget to leave a like, share it with someone who might need it, and subscribe for more helpful tech solutions. If you still face any issues or have questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.